Good morning, how are we doing? So how to create more fear? That might sound a weird one, but yesterday we went for a walk and then we stopped off at the park and my kids were on the, the spider web, you know the spider web that goes quite high, you climb up. Um, we were climbing up it and then one of my daughters who usually, if I'm honest, would be a bit like, or a bit scared up here, was like going really high and I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna be going up there at this rate, rescuing. So she keeps climbing and I'm biting my tongue to say, not to say, be careful, be careful, you know, just, so I'm thinking, I don't want to instill any kind of fear in that. If I say, be careful, you might fall, you might do this, you might this. Yes, that's true. You could fall. But there's no, the only way they're going to learn, <laughs> without saying that I want them to fall, but I don't want them to not even try. Because otherwise I'm, I might create things that don't even, even exist yet in their head. So she keeps climbing up and I just leave her to it. And I'm just kind of not looking. Because <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I'm quite high now. But my, the reason I'm sharing this is quite often I have conversations with people who have maybe been completely put off. So they've actually done stuff. They've gone to gyms, gone to training sessions where they're partnered up with people who just like, don't even acknowledge them it's not a nice environment they just show up they don't know what to wear they don't know what, how hard you're supposed to work like they don't know whether where to stand all of these things and that genuinely if you've been to something like that i'm sorry to hear that because it's like we shouldn't be feeling like massively like uncomfortable and it puts people off even trying again but the problem with that is we've created that evidence but similarly there's people i speak to and they just assume that all gyms are the same of what you see people pumping iron lifting heavy weights bashing around how hate being stereotypical but this is what people tell me and you see it guys in the weights area taking it all up and you going in not knowing what equipment to use whether you're doing it right whether you're doing it wrong too scared to ask for help feeling like you're a nuisance by asking people for help and then you just go and do what's comfortable which is boring like sat on a bike on a like a cross train or something like that you get bored then you don't really go back and i can't tell you how many conversations i've had recently about that and one of the things to remember with this is we can create that fear by not trying, not not showing up and trying something a bit different. And it was amazing this last week, one of the ladies, I've, I've shared her some of the things she said on our story actually, is she said, like, even even my kids have been like, can't believe you're actually doing it. I can't believe you're going to the gym, what did you do today? She was like, well, that's not really a gym, it's a bit different to a gym, but I'm, a, I'm enjoying it. And someone else was saying how it just feels so different. And that's amazing to hear, because we can create this fear by saying it will be scary, you won't know what to do, you won't know what to wear, you, you're too unfit. But actually, this is why, exactly why at the start of the 100 days, we have a one-to-one -one together to understand a bit more about you, where, where's gonna suit you best, what's gonna suit you best, to make sure that you know exactly what to bring, where to go, where to park, all these things that are, are kind of not looked at. How to make sure that your form's on point on the day, so that we know. By doing small sessions, we can keep an eye on your form. So you know you're doing it safely, effectively. So that even longer term, when you go and do it, and I had someone message the other day about how they went into a hotel gym and they were like, I knew what I was doing, and which was amazing. Like, knew what I was doing, knew the form, felt more confident. But the atmosphere, wow, I feel like I've been spoiled. And it was quite, I must say, quite nice to hear in some aspect that we just take for granted, like, the community, how nice, friendly everyone is, which is which is what makes Fruity Fit Fruity Fit. So I wanted to share that today because sometimes there's genuine fear there that you've tried something that it hasn't been what you thought it was. And what I'd say to that is try something again. Try again. Go with someone else. Go get an accountability buddy, something like that. Number two, try something a little bit different. If you haven't ever tried something in a while, if you haven't exercised in a while and you have this picture in your head that's going to be scary, it's you won't be able to do it. all of these questions. That's exactly where we come in with that with our 100 day 
challenge. So we have that one-to-one at the start, so you feel more confident, comfortable, know exactly where to go, what to do, small sessions, so we can really personalize it for you. We will push you, of course, that's why you're there, right? You wanna get fitter, get stronger, but at the same time, your pace is the right pace. You go at your level. Keep your fingers, your form's on point, you show up, you be consistent, and you stay injury-free for as long as you can. You can't really go wrong with that. So, I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Remember, if you're climbing up spider webs today, when you see someone, bite your tongue, just let them go with it. They know what they're doing. Anyway, have a awesome day. If you want more info about our 100-day challenge, comment 100, and I'll get you the details. But have an awesome Monday, and I'll see you soon.